I'm Monica McKenna. I was born on the 23rd of May, 1963, in Lachine, Quebec, and I'm a photographer. My idea of perfect happiness is a full belly and the feeling that I'm exactly where I want to be, doing exactly what I'm doing. My greatest fear is apathy. My mother, I think, she, uh, she overcame so many challenges with a great sense of humor and integrity. Impatience. I tend to be a little impatient. I want things immediately. In others, uh, it's easy, pretension. I don't like pretentious people. I am excessive about my footwear. I have a lot of shoes. If it's possible, I may have too many shoes. Shoes and travel, I would say. My most obvious characteristic, uh, aside from my stature and uh, my humility, is my humor. I would say my humor, I think. I would like to say never. Um, but I would, I've definitely been known to spin a tail or two or sort of expand on the truth. And I think that's largely to protect other people's feelings. I would say that's when I might fib. Uh, I would say a painter, actually. I like to be able to paint. My, my personal work um, is probably less photorealistic and more illustrative. And it probably comes from my, my desire to be a painter. I'm a frustrated painter. What gives me the most satisfaction in my work is when I'm able to follow my own initiative because I make a living uh, you know, satisfying other people, people I'm photographing, whether it's an art director or a client. And when I'm working on my own work, um, then what is really satisfying is when I put all those other issues aside and my only mandate is to please myself. That's what gives me satisfaction. I think the lowest depths of despair for myself and I think for anyone is, a, um, is hopelessness. It's when you feel that there is no hope left regardless of the circumstance, you just give up. Fortunately, I can't say I've ever felt that and I really hope I won't feel that because that would be the utmost uh, despair. My favorite word? Yes. My favorite sound is laughter. When I go home, I look forward to my husband making sure that I have the time to make images that I find really beautiful just for myself. I was happiest in Greece, I'd have to say. I went for a couple of weeks, uh, or so I thought. I ended up staying months. It's where I met my husband. I don't know, it was the, probably the time I felt the most free. It's where I fell in love with photography, which is a lot to say considering I've been shooting over 20 years, and that was only a few years ago. Um, but I would, I would say Greece. I have a card that my mother wrote to me just before she died, when she knew she was ill. Um, and she told me everything she felt she needed to, to say to me. And it was a gift that I have still, and it's a gift I'll take with me when I go. That, I think, is my most treasured possession. I think we've all had our share of challenges. I know I certainly have in the last even five or six years. And I think my greatest achievement is to remain positive and uh, trusting of people and really, I think, just not giving up hope. I guess a sense of myself, belief in myself. The top thing on my to-do list is travel, absolutely. There are still so many places that I, I have yet to discover, like, the, like Africa. And, and you know so many other areas that are a little politically challenging at the moment, but um, phenomenal as a photographer and as a person because the more I travel, the more I grow. And I could not do that enough. Every time I have money or time, that's what I do. I don't think there is an award for the kind of award I'd like to win um, because I don't think it would really be about photography. Maybe the humanitarian award, something that says, you know, I'm a, a great gal, I've learned something and I've given back. I think I'd like something like that before I die. There was sort of a, a life-changing experience that happened to me. I don't think it was really so much about choosing my profession, but it focused me. I, I was in a, a very serious accident, car accident, and came very close to losing my life. And it was a pretty young age. I think I was about mid-20s, maybe 25, 26. And what it did is help me focus on priorities. I think I grew up very quickly at that point. And I decided then to channel my energy into this career. I think it helped me sort of prioritize. What I most dislike is mean-spirited people. Um, it's not much food I don't like, unless it doesn't like me. But I do have a penchant for really fattening triple cream French cheeses. 
I like humor. I like, uh, you know, laugh. Someone who makes me laugh is what I like. Humor. My favorite distraction is my Frenchman, my husband. Um, and I relax by reading. I'm a voracious reader. If I had to come back as something, I would come back as a dolphin, uh, without a doubt, because they are magical creatures. Um, the sea is a magical place to me. Every time I'm in it, I, am, I feel like I'm in another world, and I would love to be able to swim with that kind of freedom and strength. I would come back as a dolphin, absolutely. I would hope I'd come back as one of my cats, because they have about the best life that you can imagine. So that's what I would hope I would come back as. I'm probably a painter again, you know? It's like I said before, I'm fascinated by art in general, and I love to paint most of my personal work. I try to make look like painting, probably just because I'm a frustrated painter. I'd like to paint, I think. I was studying dance and theater. I was in theater school, and the person who photographed me, his name was David Walton. He was uh, quite a character, still is, actually. And I convinced him that he had to hire me uh, to work as his assistant and printer because I thought it would be an easy way to uh, give me my spare time to do what I really wanted to do. And what happened is I, I found it really compelling and really intriguing. And I looked up and four years had gone by and I was running his studio and then I started shooting and then I bought him out. And that was 23 years ago now. When I go to work, I think what I look forward to most of all is the challenge of, of working with different people every day. Um, I think there's a sense of the mundane in everything that you do, but there's always a, a good variable when, you, when you're constantly challenged by working with different people. So I think that's what I, I look forward to. My hero was my mother because she was an incredible uh, just an incredible force to be reckoned with, all four foot eleven of her little Irish redhead. She had so many challenges in her life that she dealt head on with a great sense of humor and integrity, and I really admire that. I use her as a, a role model, someone that I would, I would love to think that I could deal with the same kind of challenges with her fortitude and her humor. I would definitely say Nora McKenna was my, my hero. If I had to have a motto, um, words that I would live my life by, I think at this point in my life it would be, why not? 